We're going to have a look at our letter U today. The letter U makes the sound ah, 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 ah. So the letter U is part of what I call the cup family. It has this cup shape to it. And when we have a look at our letter U, it is going to be sitting on the ground. It's going to be touching the grass and it's not going to be touching any of the other lines. It's not going up to the sky or to the underground line. Okay, and we're having our starting point at the grass. So I can use my imaginary box to help me with my letter U. And remember, I just use this box while I'm learning and then I take it away and just picture it there in my mind. So I'm going to start at the side of the box at the grass and I'm going to go down to the ground and do that cup shape when I get to the ground and come back up the other side of the box and then stop at the grass and I'm going to trace back down the same line and do that little kick. Okay, so now I'm going to take away the box and just imagine it's there starting at the side of the box at the grass. I'm going to go down to the ground, do that cup shape, coming back up the other side of the box, stop at the grass, trace back down and kick. Okay. So there's not too much to this letter. Um, it's just making sure that you've got that curve happening in that cup shape there and trying to make sure that you think about that consistent sizing using that imaginary box there. So we don't want a really skinny U. Um, also making sure that once again that, that exit point, that kick, is just a little kick. It doesn't need to be a really big one. Then it starts looking like a different type of letter. Okay, so have a go with your letter U and we'll see you for the next one. Bye.